keep it going for Aaron Harks. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I wore dark pants because I totally peed a little when I saw Jerry Seinfeld. I'm just kidding. I went to the bathroom like an adult. Uh, while I was in there, though, this woman accosted me. She said that I shouldn't bring my cell phone in the bathroom because there's all sorts of, like, bacteria in the air and even, like, fecal matter. So essentially, it's like getting poop on your phone. I said, uh, you should probably stop opening your mouth in here. <laughs> Mind your own business in the bathroom. That's why I don't get the whole thing in North Carolina. I feel like, you know, I don't care what bathroom you use as long as you don't talk to me. <laughs> just leave me alone. I was just in North Carolina, actually, and I did. I was in a restaurant. I used the men's room completely by accident. I wasn't trying to make any political statement or anything. I was just really tired and not paying attention. And uh, I came out and there was a line and people looked at me really confused, except for one dude who was like, <laughs> how does he know? <laughs> So yeah, I just got back from the tour of the South. I'm really excited. I'm trying to get as much tour and travel time in as possible because I just found out that I'm pregnant. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I put on some weight. <laughs> Start for applause, not so much for food. Um, I did it the most noble way possible though. I quit smoking and that's the truth. And you know, when you quit smoking, you put on weight, everybody does it. And it hasn't been that long. It's been like six, 17 years. So, you know, it'll take time. For that to come out. And uh, my boyfriend doesn't mind at all because he says it helps him appreciate his wife. So, <laughs> for me. I make jokes about having babies because I found out that I can have kids, because um, I don't want them. <laughs> I thought that I did. I was getting to that age, and my boyfriend and I had been together for a while, and I was like, honey, I think I want a baby. And he was like, that's crazy. I think I want a vasectomy. <laughs> and he did, he got a vasectomy. Uh, we're not making jokes about that, though, until the cone comes off. <laughs> We actually broke up over it, uh, and I wanted to go research whether or not I actually wanted to have kids, so I spent time with my friends and their kids, and I was holding my friend's newborn and just locked eyes with this beautiful creature, and I was introduced to this phenomenon where a baby will shit up its back. <laughs> Did you know that when that happens, you're not allowed to throw the baby? My friend looked me dead in the eye. She's like, it's different when it's yours. I was like, what if it's not? <laughs> what if I hate my kid as much as I hate your kid? Right now? <laughs> I mean, most importantly, I don't want to have kids because I'm 38 and this body won't bounce back. And I work really hard to look this mediocre. I, uh, <laughs> I go to the gym like every single day, unless the parking sucks, because I'm not going to walk like a mile to go work out. <laughs> I took a spinning class, but I got kicked out because every time it got hard, I jumped off the bike and walked in place next to it. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's a hill. <laughs> My biggest goal for staying thin is so that I can shop at Forever 21. And um, not in the plus section either, because I don't know if you've ever seen the plus section, but it's punishment for gaining weight, and your reward is tons and tons of unnecessary fabric. So you want to try and find something in you know, the cute and still slutty section. And um, it becomes like safari. So I found this one dress, and it was just a little bit small. So I, I asked the girl, I was like, you know, do you have this in the next size up? And she goes, yeah, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to walk over that way. You're just going to walk and keep walking. You're actually going to leave the store and you're going to keep walking. Walk, 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 walk. You're going to see a store. It's called Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> it's some workout accessories. Maybe a tent. <laughs> I did. I found this skirt that fit. I was so excited and I handed it to the clerk behind the counter and she was like, 
oh my God, I can't wear things like this because I don't have any hips, but you're lucky because you're thick. I said, you're lucky that I'm on Zoloft and probation. I'm Aaron Hart, guys. Thank you very much.